National spokesperson for the Republican National Convention is with me now, Lindsey Walters. Lindsey, welcome. We're glad to have you here. Is it fair to say that the idea of a fresh face, that that ship has sailed? I would say, Deidre, it's, I'm pretty confident that our eventual nominee will be one of the three candidates who's currently running. If you look at how the process works to have a third party parachute in, it's going to be difficult because the three candidates who are currently running are those who are going to have the representation on the floor. So I can say pretty confidently, I don't think it's likely that we will have an outsider candidate come into the race. Okay, so unlikely. Fox News' Bill O'Reilly making a prediction about what would happen if Donald Trump specifically doesn't win. Here are those comments. The issue of white grievance not going away. And Trump will maintain a very loyal level of support. Many of his supporters, as I said, are furious. And if Mr. Trump does not get the nomination, the stay home factor in next November's vote is likely to be substantial. What do you make about those comments? I think if you look at any one of our candidates, they're very qualified to be president, and we're going to come out and unify at the end of this. Whether we end up with Governor Kasich, Senator Cruz, or Donald Trump, the party is going to unify behind, because look at who we're but running Lindsay, against. Lindsey, not to cut you off, against I, Hillary I Clinton been, and Bernie um, Sanders, yeah. we're... I should have been more precise in my question. What I meant uh, about Bill's comments or the idea that if Trump doesn't win, people will just stay home. I think you're going to see the voter turnout be high. Look at what we've had. Look at what's going on tonight, for instance, in Wisconsin. Wisconsin looks like they're going to have the highest record voter turnout since the 1980s. The enthusiasm has been on our side going through this process and will continue. We've watched it build, and I think you'll continue to see that in through the general. Okay. On our show yesterday, I want to ask you a little bit about the mechanics. Arizona State Treasurer, Trump supporter Jeff DeWitt, commented on reports that Ted Cruz is actually stealing candidates. So I'll play his comments and then we'll talk. Here they are. Absolutely. It is 100% correct. And quite frankly, I'm really disappointed in the way the Cruz campaign is conducting itself. I've been working the ground game here very hard for Donald Trump to, to get our delegates done. You know, we do the national selection on April 30th, but right now we're doing we're selecting all the state delegates to choose the national delegates. And, yeah, the Cruz campaign... Uh, is really turning into a campaign of misinformation. So, in essence, implying stealing delegates is what I should have said. To what extent do you have to pay attention to this now? Because it's a very fine line between wooing and then crossing the line into illegality. There's a lot of organization that goes in on part of the campaign when it comes to those delegates and the ground game. And that's up to each of the individual camp campaigns and those delegates is how they go about that process, that would be up to the state party rules and how they handle the individual delegates. But the individual candidates and campaigns have a lot of organization they need to take into account in order to get all of their delegates in line and in row heading into Cleveland. All right, Lindsay, we thank you for the time. It's a big night and a few more months to go, of course, until July in Cleveland. Lindsay Walters with me there. She is the national spokesperson for thank the you. RNC.